Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature. We're here in Nova Scotia at Kejimakuchik National Park with Troy McMullen studying lichens today. This is Nature Scoop on the road. Kejimakuchik is a really interesting park because it's in the southern part of Nova Scotia, which has a really unique ecosystem and is a world biosphere reserve. We're here looking for new species of, uh, of lichens in the park. So there's about 250 species already known. So we're hunting for new ones. And amazingly, uh, we found five new species to the list on the first tree we looked at. And the main reason is that we, uh, it's a white pine. And I don't think anyone's ever looked at white pine before. And a lot of lichens are host specific. We're at Mill Waterfall which was a really interesting place to collect because we just went to the base of the falls where there's a spray zone that's constantly being sprayed by the waterfalls. So it stays really wet and fairly cold because the water is colder than the surrounding environment, uh, which makes it a really interesting habitat that's not very common in the park. So there's a number of species that live in that unique habitat that we haven't seen before. So we collected a number of new things to the park around the waterfall. And amazingly, there's a number of Arctic species that occur in Kejimakujik near the ocean, uh, which is surprising because there's a lot of tropical things that also make their way into Kejimakujik. So it's a place where extreme environments meet and species represent those different environments. What would you describe this as a successful day? Definitely. There is all kinds of interesting species that only grow in the seaside adjunct, that don't grow in the main park. And a lot of them are really rare globally and rare in Nova Scotia. So it was great to see them again, and we found some new things. It was really exciting. Thanks for joining us for this Nature Scoop. Until next time.